Hey everyone, it's Triple Mango Threat, and today I have the pleasure of reviewing three different Quiver products. Let's jump right into it. So in this review, I'm going to talk about what comes with the product, the price, will I use it, and finally the rating I'm going to give it. So the first product we're talking about is the 80 plus standard deck block. So this is meant for 80 double sleeve cards. Or if you want single sleeves, it's just going to be 100, which it's really sweet because it comes with 100 green sleeves. And yes, it's a little bit of a different color than the actual deck box, which is a little weird, but still, it's matching the color of the deck block, so it's fine. Now, it does come with two plastic sleeves, which I thought was really interesting. Maybe you could split up your sideboard or whatever you would like, but when we're talking about Commander, which is really what this review is all about. I guess I could separate my tokens with these, but I really do like that it just comes with extra stuff. I love accessories, so already this is a great first impression. And so like I mentioned before, it comes with a hundred sleeves with the deck block. And that really inspired me to make a deck, so I'm like, you know what, it's green, let's just go mono green. So I had Azusa as my commander. So the price of this deck block, of this whole product, we have sleeves, we have the dividers, we have the deck block, it was just really impressive to me because right now it's on sale, so I don't know how long that's going to last, but it's $11 right now for all three of those things. And that's really crazy because normally, you know, it's $15, which actually seems more like what it should cost. This is just a great product, especially for $11. That is amazing. So how many sleeves or cards can we fit in the 80 plus deck block? Well, we can have 80 double sleeved cards in this deck block, or we can have 100 single sleeves or 120 unsleeved cards, which is actually really nice because I always need somewhere to put cards that I traded for. Like for example, if I don't have room in my binder or if I didn't bring a binder to put cards that I traded for in, I need somewhere to put them. So this is another great option, but it fits 100 single sleeve cards. So again, this inspired me to actually make a deck and I love that. So is it worth the price? Yes. Even at $15, I think it's worth it. And will I use it? Yes. I'm absolutely going to use this and show it off and be like, Hey, for $15, this is a great entry price to anybody coming into Magic. So the rating, I'm going to give the 80 plus deck block. This is a 10 out of 10 product, honestly. I really love that it comes with a lot of accessories because that's how I am. And if you're the same, you're going to love this product because you have the dividers, the deck block, and 100 sleeves to build whatever deck you want to. The next product we're talking about is the Bolt card case. I thought this was what the large looked like. No, this is the runner up. So as for my first impressions, I am not really impressed with the zipper. It takes a little bit to undo sometimes, but again, I love accessories and this company has done this amazing. I, I'm really speechless. So as for the accessories that it comes with, it comes with 100 transparent sleeves and I tried to double sleeve with these and I would not recommend that. This is meant for single sleeving and protecting the cards that go in this. And it also comes with some dividers. So unlike the green dividers, these are like really thick plastic. Uh, yeah, these are not flimsy and these are really well built. And again, this can be dividers that you need for the cards that go in here or whatever that you need to use them for. And so what's really cool about this case is that it has a zipper inside of the case. And that's where I'm keeping the straps that come with it. So we have the wrist strap, which is, again, going to be pretty easy to carry it around, especially for this size. It's not going to be horrible on our wrist. And also we can always carry it over our shoulder with the shoulder strap. And that's probably what I'll be doing, honestly. Um, I think that's the better option, but maybe this is an easy way to attach it to our backpack or whatever we're using to carry it. It's an easy way to move this around. And that's also very important. Or if we're at home, I'm actually going to use this at home, believe it or not, because if I'm going to the kitchen table, well, I don't want to carry three or four deck blocks or deck boxes, this is going to be an easier way to transport them. There's no chance that I'm going to be dropping deck boxes here and there. It's just going to be all contained in this case. So as for the stats of what this case can hold, we have 120 unsleeved cards or 500 sleeved cards or 380 double sleeves cards or 480 plus deck blocks. So the price right now is around $32 to $35 and normally it's going for $40. Well, is it worth the price? I don't think it's, I, I wish it was cheaper. It is a great product, but again, I don't know if I want to spend that much on this case. It's premium quality, I know that, but it's a lot of money and especially for a 
player on a budget, it's really difficult to want to purchase this kind of equipment. So will I use the Bolt card case? Absolutely. This is a really sweet product and especially just moving deck boxes around or even putting trading cards in, I really like this product. Now when it comes to rating the Bolt case, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 only because of the price, but if price was not even a factor in this, this is a 10 out of 10 product. And the last product we're talking about is the Quiver card case. So my first impression is this isn't what I expected, honestly, because I thought the size would be the same as the Bolt. No, this is probably not double the size, but maybe 1.5 times larger. I really don't know. I, I'm sure measurements will be available. Again, I'm still not really a fan of the zipper, but like nothing's wrong with it. It just takes a little bit to go around the corners. So again, this product comes with 100 transparent sleeves that are meant for single sleeving, and this time it comes with twice as many dividers. So I thought that was really cool as well, especially because there's a lot of ways we can actually use this. There are five dividers in this thing and it's crazy, but also it comes with the same straps as well. We have the wrist strap and the shoulder strap. I think Again, I'm going to be using the shoulder strap. And this time it comes with two corner pads, which I guess is to support the case if it were to be closed in on. It's gonna help not destroy what's inside because of course we can also have our cards inside of this. So what can we fit in the quiver? 1,300 unsleeved cards or 770 sleeved cards or 625 double sleeved cards or eight ultra pro deck boxes or six pro deck boxes you get the point there's a lot that can go into this again another premium deck box it's just it's really sweet honestly but is it worth the price now i haven't mentioned the price yet this is normally a 70 dollar product this is it's a lot of money honestly and right now it's on sale for 45 dollars so if you have been really wanting this product i really encourage you to pick it up because this is a $45 product. $70 is a lot and I, I'm sure it's worth $70 but $45 is more affordable. It's gonna help those budget players and also if you're really attached to this brand you're gonna spend $70 anyways so having it at $45 it's a great deal right now. Will I use this? Yes absolutely this is a sick product but the rating again it's 9 out of 10 just because of the price and I know there's gonna be people that say well price wasn't an option what would you give it? It's a 10 out of 10 product without the price coming into factor. I hope this review helped you decide if you're going to purchase this product, and if you decide to, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear what you think, and did I give it a fair rating? Again, please let me know in the comments. And finally, I want to thank John for sending me these products. I really appreciate his time and effort going into this, and I want to thank Quiver, again, for being very generous and letting me review their products. If you'd like to purchase any of these products, I'll have links in the description below where you can find any of these three products. You're gonna love them. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more Mango content. I'll see you all in the next one. Uh, peace.